Hi everyone, what Tulsi Gabbard just did to Joy Bihar should be illegal. Okay, check this out. Before I ask her the first question, what's happening with, uh, with the telescope and the stuff? Oh and gosh, why? Um, the challenge is, is ongoing. The challenge is ongoing. Okay. Yeah. What, right. what is that? So... <laughs> Just explain. They decided, uh, it was decided that they were going to go on sacred land. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, yeah. and put up a telescope and do all this stuff. And the Hawaiians said, no, you're not going to do that. So it's been a fight. Tulsi's been at the forefront. Mm -hmm. And I try to bring it up. You know, I when I when I can, because it's I think sacred land is sacred land. Yeah. You can't, you know, yeah. you can't anyway. mess with it. So, so I have to ask yeah. you this and I did it. So we were just talking about uh, EU Ambassador Sondland changing his testimony yesterday that he had to be refreshed about quid pro quo. And you've been skeptical, uh, skeptical uh, more than a lot of the Democrats about the impeachment inquiry. Were you surprised by what he did yesterday? Uh, well, look, the facts are important. And uh, we'll get to that. I want to start with something that I think is also important uh, about facts. Because recently on your show here... Uh, I was just going to get to that. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Helping you out. You want me to ask you um, yeah. No, look, some Excellent. of you have accused me of being a... Uh, a uh, traitor to my country, a Russian asset, a Trojan horse, uh, or a useful, we haven't accused you a useful idiot, I think was the term well, that you used. Which basically means that I'm uh, naive or, or lack intelligence to term. know what's going they on. They use that. I want to let, let your viewers know exactly who I am. All right. Set the record straight. I am a patriot. I love our country. I am <sighs> a strong and intelligent woman of color. And I have dedicated uh, almost my entire adult life to protecting the safety, security, and the freedom of all Americans in this country. It was the attacks on 9-11. Well, you know, when you, I, guess, I guess we were getting, we're getting a little bit far ahead of ourselves, but uh, Franklin Graham finds you refreshing. He doesn't find me refreshing. Uh, Richard Spencer, the white nationalist leader, says he could vote for you. Joy, this is why I mean, you're on, why you're on here. Tucker Carlson at least 10 times. Why don't you go on Chris this, Wallace's this is, show? This is why I'm here, because you and other people continue to, to spread these innuendos that have nothing to do with who I am. Well, Hillary Clinton started it, and then you shot back at her, boy. You <laughs> called her the queen of you, war you, you doubled down, unfortunately, you doubled down on the baseless accusations that she made that strikes at the core of who I am. I'm a soldier. Because of the attacks on 9-11, I enlisted in the military to go after and defeat and destroy the evil that visited us on that day. I've served now for over 16 years, I deployed twice the Middle East during the height of the war, where every single day I saw firsthand the terribly high human cost. That's why I ran for Congress. We actually have the clip of Hillary Clinton, just to put this in context it, of what yeah, we're talking about. Let's, let's take a look at that. I'm not making any predictions, but I think they've got their eye on somebody who's currently in the Democratic primary and are grooming her to be the third party candidate. She's a favorite of the Russians. They have a bunch of, you know, sites and bots and other uh, ways of supporting her so far. Uh, and I, I'm, that, that's assuming Jill Stein will give it up, which she might not, because she's also a Russian uh, asset. So Really? I mean, this is outrageous. This is outrageous and offensive on so many levels. I've served as a member of Congress now for almost seven years, receiving high-level national security and intelligence briefings, serving on the Foreign Affairs Committee, the Armed Services Committee, the Homeland Security Committee, working to ensure the safety and security of the people of this country. This is why I'm running for president, to continue that commitment of service. So are you surprised, though, that when people see bots and things and all the things that we've sort of been seeing heading you away, uh, that people have these questions? Because she's not the only one. Hillary, I don't think, is the only one. So what she's saying is she feels they are grooming you. You're saying nobody's grooming me. I'm doing what I'm doing because I'm a soldier and a patriot. It, it's offensive to me as a soldier, as an American, as a member of Congress, as a veteran, and frankly, as a woman, to be so demeaned in but you such called a way. her the personification in, of rock. So demeaned She's a woman in such too. a way. Well, I'm pointing to the fact that she has continued this legacy of being the world's police around the world that has 
waged wars costing the lives of thousands of my brothers and sisters in uniform. I'm speaking out against that. And What's to your change, evidence for that? To change. Well, can I? Are you serious? Let's hear it. Are you Let's, serious? Let's hear it. I served in the war Not in you. Iraq. How are you saying that, that she's, exactly. she's a I warmonger? I served in the war in that? Iraq yeah. that she championed. She championed a regime change war in Libya. Did you not believe Libya. in that war? I believe the lies that were told to us. Well, so did she. Uh, um, <laughs> she looks, it, it, is, it is indisputable. It is indisputable to say anything other than the fact well, this, that can I, can Hillary, let me just close this out, that Hillary Clinton throughout her career has led with a foreign policy of interventionism mm -hmm. and being the world's police, going and toppling dictators in other countries that has caused such destruction and loss of life. I'm against that. I'm running for president to change that. Rather than actually debate me on the issues, she and others are resorting to these smear tactic campaigns, seeking to undermine me, smear my character, and sending a message to anyone who dissents Stand, toe the line, or you too will be smeared. Wow, you guys. You could obviously tell. The View doesn't know what to do when they have someone with a working brain on their show. Joy was just out of line, sitting there, trying to attack her for everything she thought was wrong. That's just not all right to call yourself a host of a show, and this is what you do. Tulsi Gabbard was treated so unfairly, it's insane. I still believe, to this day, there needs to be an apology for what they tried to do to her. Joy, honestly, just needs to stop. Her behavior is so cringy and just not tolerable. I'm honestly getting tired of the view just because of her. I've always been tired of it, but she's like the icing on the cake. Let me know what you guys think about this quick video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And as always, let me know what to react to next. We're out.